Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with Ludum Dari 34. Ludum Dari 34 is a two part jam and combo. The jam is 72 hours where you can work in teams or alone, and the combo is a bit harder where you need to work solo in 48 hours and include your source code. The themes of this jam were growing and or two button controls because they tied during theme slaughter. The Ludum Dari is um, a huge jam. It's got thousands of entries, so I'm not going to be able to play them all, but I am playing all of the games that are requested to me on my sheet, so if you want your game to be played, there'll be a link in the description of a sheet that you can add your game to, and I'll be playing all of the ones entered on that. Um, when it's finished, I'll have some articles out of my favorites, probably two over on Fireside, so feel free to follow me on Twitter so you can get an update on that when it's done. As always, thank you very, very much for watching and liking and commenting. That's it. Next. Playing a circle strife. Alright, so this little dot on the circle. And we can just move forward. Can we move backwards by chance? Nope, just forward. But we'll, oh wait, D. Yep, we can move back and forth. And we're just looking to dodge everything. Alright. Lots of things happening. We need to get like farther away from everything. <laughs> Forcing me this way, there's so much. Oh, I died. This is quite intense. There's so much going on. Alright, we're doing good, doing good. We got more triangles coming from this side and that side. Next, we're playing Falling Alien. Alright. Sorry. We're supposed to do click on these different arrows to move. All right, we're doing good. Ah, just kidding. It's weird because you have to move in between these. You can't just use like arrow keys or anything. Fuck that one. Damn it! I thought I was just gonna get by. It's a very simple game. It's nicely made though. It's just weirdly difficult. Well, I guess it'd be too easy if you didn't have these buttons to Oh, they get really big. If you didn't have these uh, buttons to go back and forth and press. Damn it. Next. We're playing Evil Developer's Lair. Welcome. In case of bugs or going the wrong way, press R. Alright. Oh, this guy's really cute. Can I shoot you away? No. Oh, that's the end portal. So you can kind of jump. It's only two button controls. So when you hit space bar, you not only jump, but you also shoot. Boom. Okay. And my bullets also trigger buttons, which is nice. Oh, shit. Okay, note self, it's not a button I want to trigger. Oh, I nearly made it. I like the color scheme of this. The purple's really nice. The green's very nice. Gotcha. That's cute. It's very simple. Damn it. Well made game, especially for their first game, because it is their first game. I thought maybe I had to secretly go down there, because I don't know if my jump is quite high enough. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Huh. Next, we're playing Shrink. Oh shit. So, alright, so we're shrinking, we have to like get out of the room before we totally shrink. But we can only go left and right and like bounce off the walls. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. No good. Ah. Oh. Oh, there's spikes. Ah, oh, no. Shit. So we definitely made it through then. Alright. This is a really neat idea. No. 
Don't shrink. No, it's nearly there. I like this. I like this a lot. It looks very simple, but it's nice and challenging and a bit complicated. It takes a bit of planning. Gotta be kind of small to get through these ones, which makes it more of a rush to get those little dots. Boom. Oh, I missed one. Missed two. All right. This is really neat. Next, we're playing Air C A T, which stands for cats. I'm pretty sure. All right. Here we are. Do that to get a bow. There we go. This stuff. It's like, nah, oh, there we go. Oh, we're getting hit by bullets. This is actually a pretty neat Flappy Bird esque game. kind of hard to remember what buttons do what because it is literally two buttons controlling all of this, but boom. They don't kill you, but they didn't. The highest score them and their friends got, oh that was a cool one, was 660. I can see why now. Look at many getting rid of these things. Got rid of everyone except this guy. I want you to go that way. Whoops. This is a pretty neat little game though. Next. We're playing You Have to Be This Tall. Once upon a time, there was a robot who had a lifelong dream to ride the roller coaster, but when he tried to get onto the coaster, he got told he was too short. So you have to collect fruit to help him grow so his lifelong dream can come to fruitation. You also have to defeat the earth for meteors too. If they crash down, you'll shrink. Three. Two, one, go! Oh, okay, thank you. Alright. Alright, space to ride. Start. Alright. Fruits. Fruit, fruit. Do I have to hit? Oh, yeah, I have to bounce these meteors back. I'm just instinctively dodging shit that's not fruit, but that's totally making me shrink. Okay, doing good. We really do take away quite a bit of your fruit. Um, also, just a warning, it totally told me to pick a different screen resolution. My screen wasn't that big, so... This poor guy, he's just like, I just want to ride a roller coaster. My brother used to always be too short, so my mom would put him in, like, wedges or platforms. So he could be just just tall enough. It was a thing growing up. Because we always had season passes to our local Six Flags. Next game I made, which is about showing you how hard it is to survive at the open sea. Now, what you have to do is. Put your mouse over the character and click as much as possible, okay. as fast as possible, of course. And basically, how much you click, the bigger score you'll get. No, it's I will leave game. my Twitter at the end of the game when you die, so that you can send me screenshots how big. Right. So we're just clicking. We're playing Growing Pains. It told me not to rage and to just click. So, I'm clicking as fast as I possibly can. I like how the beginning is kind of a recorded instruction tutorial. It starts automatically, which is a bit annoying because you miss the beginning of it when you're setting up like I do. But, alright, you lost. Is it because I took a break and switched fingers? My score is 140. Oh. We'll try again. 
Oh, I tried to recenter oh. my mouse because I didn't think it was working. And so you just click until you like rhythmically click until you run out of clicks, really. Till your thumb decides to hurt or whatever. Uh, I just like having high scores. I wonder what the highest score is. And I want to beat it, but sadly I have to say next. We're playing I Guy. Alright, A and D. Ruin Shrink. Alright. Collect gems, be bigger than crates, and smash them, avoid drills. Yeah. Alright, we're rolling along. Collected a gem. Oh! I was drilled to death. You're a really cute little monster with this just one eye thing going on. Oh, I thought it was going to be the same, but it totally wasn't. This is kind of difficult. I thought oh, this would be super easy. Nope. Okay. Be bigger. I was totally bigger than that box. Come on. Or at least pretty damn close. Got these. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Getting the hang of things. Ah! Damn it. Next. We're playing Bloodlust Dungeon of Cowards. Alright. Bam! Roll around in your blood. All of you are cowards running away from me. I am the king. Stop it. Do I need to kill everyone or is it okay to just kill some of them? So any of you guys down here? Nope. I'm running out of blood, turning black. Black means I'm not angry anymore. Ah, I'm just kidding. Ah, failed. Kill more often to grow your bloodlust. Okay. Bam. Bam. Killing, killing, killing. This is a neat little game. I wish there was a number count for all the people that I killed so that I knew how many. You're all stuck in a tiny, tiny hallway. Oh, I stop. You shall not be spared. Neither are you. That guy can be spared. And so can that guy. Need to go into more rooms with more people. Next. We're playing Rotom. Alright, so. These are all different types of land, plus that for whatever reason. We're expanding our borders. Okay, so we've got some farmers. We've got some knights or something. Oh, not enough resources. Fuck. Probably build, I don't know, a castle maybe? Not enough resources. Houses. Houses. I suck. Houses. So we need more food. And we need more knights. How do we get knights in castles probably? I don't understand how I'm losing. There's a lot of uh, instructions for this game. Uh, some tiles give like things double, basically. Um, other di other tiles don't. Um, so double resources. There we go. So we need a couple more people, really. We need more food. All right. Not enough army with negative balance. Shit, how do I get more army? That was probably a bad idea. No, 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 it's okay. More food. Need more people. Okay, got it. Make that bigger. Not enough resources, alright? Doing pretty good. <laughs> Next.